What's good YouTube? Today we are going to be building the most dominant center to ever play basketball, Wilt Chamberlain. Now Wilt is one of the toughest big men to make because Wilt could almost do everything and 2K is not going to let you build a player like Wilt because it would just break the game. But with that being said, I think I did a pretty good job of building him and making it just like how he played in real life. Now before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on this video as well as subscribe. It really helps a lot. But without further delay, let's begin. For the skill breakdown, you guys are going to want to pick the blue and red pie chart. This pie chart is the best because although Wilt is known for getting every rebound and blocking every shot in the paint, he was also known for dunking on all of his opponents and getting all of his points inside. For the physical profile, I would suggest that you guys pick the agility and strength pie chart. Now the agility and strength pie chart is the one that best depicts Wilt's game. We can't really create Wilt's physicals accurately because he would have a 90 speed, a 90 strength, and a 90 vert. The 2K obviously won't let us create that, so this is the best that we're going to do. For the attributes, it's going to be very simple. You guys are going to want to max out all of your finishing attributes, which will give you 26 finishing badges. I'm not really going to touch the shooting because obviously Wilt wasn't a shooter. I only touched the post moves in the playmaking section because Wilt did get most of his buckets in the post. And finally for defense, you're going to want to max out your interior defense, your block, your offensive and defensive rebound. And then you guys are going to want to make your lateral quickness a 54 and your steal a 61. As you guys can see, these attributes are very OP and they're going to help you dominate people in the post as well as lock them up. And for the body shape, you guys are going to want to pick built because if you see how Wilt looked in real life, you guys will see that he was more built and he kind of looked like Giannis's build rather than the average center who's like burly. Wilt was a very strong and athletic build, which allowed him to run fast, jump high and be stronger than everyone on the court. So instead of picking burly, which is what most centers pick, we're going to pick built. Now Wilt was listed as 7-1, so we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. For the weight, I did 259 pounds because I wanted 95 strength. Now, I know this brings the speed, acceleration, and vertical down, but like I said, 2K is not going to let us make a build with a high stat and everything. So I just made this build so that the strength goes to a 95 and so that this build is like easier to use in 2K and easier to use in a paint because we know where it's going to go in the post. For the wingspan, I did 94, and this does bring my strength down to a 91, but it increases my standing dunk as well as my blocks and rebounding by a lot, and honestly, I just think it's worth it, so that's why I picked this wingspan. Now for the takeover, it's honestly your choice for what you want to pick. Wilt can post up, he can rebound, and he can block shots, so you guys should just pick whatever you prefer the most. I want to go with glass take just because I like it the most, but if you guys ask me, I think the best takeover for this build will be post takeover since you guys are probably going to be running the offense. But anyways, after you guys pick your takeover, you will see that you've actually built a paint beast. Now for the finishing badges, I would add Hall of Fame back down punisher because Wilt was stronger and bigger than all of his opponents. I would also add contact finisher and relentless finisher because Wilt was finishing all of his layups and dunks to the point it didn't really matter who was on him because he was going to find a way to score either way. I would also add Hall of Fame Drop Stepper, Consistent Finisher, Pro Touch, and Slithery Finisher. These badges might change though depending on if Drop Steps work this year and if Consistent Finisher works. I know last year Drop Stepper was absolutely useless and anybody could guard them no matter what their build was, so hopefully it's not the same this year. Consistent Finisher was a good badge to have last year, but it seems like this year if you miss time your shots around the rim, you're probably going to miss, so I don't know how this is going to work. The shooting badge that you pick doesn't really matter, so you can honestly just pick what you want. But for the playmaking badge, I would suggest that you guys would go with Post Spin Technician because it's honestly the best playmaking badge for any post score. I would have liked to have more playmaking badges because Wilt could have had Quick First Step and Dream Shake, but I didn't have enough attributes to just make that happen. So I just went with Bronze Post Spin Technician here. And finally for defense, I picked Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and Silver Box because Wilt did get every rebound. I also went with Hall of Fame Brim Protector and Hall of Fame Intimidator, Silver Chase Down, Gold Pogo Stick, Silver Post Move Lockdown, and Silver Moving Truck. These badges will also like, just help you be a beast in the paint and no one's going to be able to score on you if you're contesting them in the paint. So that's why I picked all of these badges. So that's it for the build. Let's get right into the gameplay to see if Wild is really good. So at the start of the game, you guys can already see that I have my team's first six points. 
But in this position, I had the defensive player of the year on me. And you guys can see I get a quick little spin animation on him for the hop step dunk. The very next possession, I set a screen for Patrick Beverly, who then gave the ball to Kawhi. Kawhi then gave the ball to me, and they tried double teaming, but I simply did a quick post spin to open, get open and dunk the ball. So you guys can see, the ball goes to the corner, he's gonna shoot and miss. I go from the hash mark on the left to the right block in the paint to snag the rebound. Then I go coast to coast trying to get open. They double team me, but it's just not enough to stop Wilt Chamberlain. You guys can see now they just keep on bringing double teams and it's just not working. I switch hands, I get a quick drop step and I lay it up. And these two, despite double teaming me, they cannot stick me. On this possession, you guys are gonna be able to see that Wilt actually ran pretty fast down the court. But I did a hop step, I go, I take a terrible shot, but I get my own rebound and put it right back up. Like I said before, once Wilt gets in the paint, he's not gonna leave without a bucket. In this final possession of the first quarter, you guys are gonna see they take a shot, I get the rebound, and I'm running down to the court. I'm planning on getting right into the post. So you guys see I'm getting into the post. These guys practically decided that a double team wasn't enough. They put three people on me. I pump fake, but Wilt still finishes. And you guys are gonna see that I finished this first quarter with 20 points and eight rebounds, and it's only six minutes into the game. One thing I do want to share with you guys about this build is that a lot of times when I thought I was open for maybe a post hook or a drop step layup, when Giannis was guarding me, he would just come out of nowhere and contest everything. Now, I don't know if this is because he is an AI or if he has really high defensive ratings, but it is something to keep in mind for you guys if you're planning to make a post score. If 2K made it so that every shot in the paint is easy to contest just like last year, it's going to be very hard to get buckets as a post score because centers are just going to constantly spam triangle on you and they're going to have to keep getting contests which is going to make post scores useless. So that's just something to keep in mind for you guys. Um, just wanted to let you guys know. But guys that is going to be the end of this video. You guys can see that this build is capable of scoring easily in the paint, blocking anybody in the paint and rebounding over anybody. This build is easily one of the top builds of the year. And I suggest that if you guys like playing in the post, you should consider using this build. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.